After Effects is a fantastic motion graphics application. Illustrator is a great graphics application. The two work well together. But did you know that you can take the path from a shape in Illustrator and paste it into the motion in After Effects? This one tip can save you an enormous amount of time. Let's go have a look. Here's Adobe After Effects, and you see a motion graphics that I've created with some type, a lens flare, and CC light rays down inside here. It's not so important of, of what I have down in here as what I have up here in my actual comp window. You see I've got type, and I've got the lens flare following the outside edge of the type. And it also jumps over here and bridges this area and comes around and rests inside here. So how do we do this? Well, I started with Illustrator. So let me jump to Illustrator and show you we've got some type in here. And while I'm in here, I want to show you the type glyphs panel. So this glyphs panel is really cool when you've got a typeface like Bickham Script Pro. In this letter L here, normally this is set at entire font. But if you've got a special typeface that has a lot of alternates, like Bickham Script Pro does, if you choose alternates for current selection, then you see all the different uh, lowercase l's right in here. So if you want to, you just double click on them, and it just puts them inside there. So each one of these was designed specifically by this, uh, the typesetter who made this type. So not all fonts will have this, uh, but it's really nice when they do. The same with the letter F, the uppercase F here. I'm just going to select that, and you can see I've got two uh, others. That's the original that comes with it. This is a pretty ornate one, and so is that one. So you can flip between these very easily. So what I wanted to do was start with, let me just undo back to my original there. Um, I wanted to start with some type. So the cool thing about this is you don't have to take this Illustrator file and export it. You can simply copy this. And when you paste this directly in After Effects, so let's jump into After Effects. I'm going to create a new composition. That's this button down here at the bottom. Click on that. Creating a composition. The one I'm uh, using here is DVC Pro HD. Notice that we've got a 1.5 pixel aspect ratio, something very important about working with this in just a bit. So we'll just leave this as Comp 2. Click OK. And I'll grab my Type tool up at the top. Click inside here and paste. And because we have black text on black, you don't see anything until I recolor this. So let me just change that to that purple that I wanted. Click OK. There we go. And notice that the open type glyphs have made it in. It's really important. The compatibility between Illustrator CS5, After Effects CS5 is rock solid. So you've got great typesetting, and you want to add motion graphics. No problem. Copy and paste. After Effects is going to treat it nicely. Next up, jump back to Illustrator. And what I did to create the path, I wanted the path on the outside edge of these characters inside here. So I just duplicated this layer and then turn it to outline. So if we look at this in artwork mode, when you convert text to outlines, um, it converts it into outlines exactly like this. And I want that outside edge, so I need to delete everything else inside here. An easy way to get started is with the eraser tool. We added this a few versions back, and it's really simple. It's just an eraser for vector objects. And you can see that I can easily erase this. Next, I'll just grab my Direct Select tool, and then come in here and start clicking on different parts and just hitting the Delete key. And you end up with a path that looks like this. And I just bridged the gap between the other part of that path. So this is a shape inside Illustrator. This is also going to be my motion path for my lens flare in After Effects. How do we do that? Well, we go to the Edit menu and choose Copy. Let's go back to After Effects. And I can apply a lens flare directly to um, a layer. So here's my type layer that I've got. I'm going to create a new layer, and we call those solids inside After Effects. So this is a new solid. I'll name this lens flare. I'll make sure it's the same comp size, and I've got it as a solid black. And click OK. Now that I have that layer created, I'm going to drag in my lens flare effect. 
There's my lens flare. Let me just change this to the 35 prime and the brightness to 60%. Get that down. So the job I need to do is I need this to animate around that outside edge. And I want it to follow the flare center. So I'm just going to set a quick keyframe for flare center, click on flare center, and then hit the U key. It's just a little uber key that gets you right to the keyframe you need to look at and hides everything else. I don't want a keyframe on there, so I'll turn that off. So I can't paste the information I just brought over from Illustrator directly into that lens flare. It won't work. In fact, this is what happens when you do. You get a dialog box that comes up and it warns you you can't do this. So we need to find an area to take this information and that is a mask uh, layer. So in the mask layer, if I twirl this down, you can actually see the mask path is on its own. It's very important that you don't have a keyframe set inside here. So to get this out, I select it and copy from the mask path shape and paste that into the lens flare center. And notice it jumped up to that point. I'm just going to do a quick RAM preview. And now it's following that information perfectly. If I had to hand animate that, that would probably take me a good amount of time and I would probably not get that accurate. The last thing to show you is that notice down here, it's created roving keyframes for us. So if I click on the outside keyframe, you notice it's a little diamond shape and the others are like little circles. This roving keyframe uh, capability allows me to just control the overall speed by dragging this out. When I drag it out, do a RAM preview, it's going to be slower. Drag it in and it's going to be faster. It's a typical keyframe in After Effects, nothing new. You can convert this to a regular keyframe, whatever. It's just a great way to work between Illustrator and After Effects, especially if you've got a really complex logo and somebody says, can you make something follow around, you know, a little glint or a little sparkle or something. Um, that's a lot of hand animating. So remember, you can copy and paste between the two, but to do it, you're going to have to create a mask layer as your safety point to communicate between all of that path and motion information. Let's get those motion graphics paths working, okay?